But anyway, uh, there's a little time lapse of me undoing the upper control arms. Uh, pretty much, I ended up putting some leave in so I can actually work on the freaking car. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully tomorrow I will have this or I'll start cleaning this up. I gotta go to the hardware store, get me some acetone or maybe some brake parts cleaner if I can find it on uh, on sale. Um, never buy that stuff half, uh, full price. $5 a can is a rip off. But yeah, so I'll start at the top, clean it up real nice. I still haven't decided if I'm gonna use the Rust-Oleum like I said before. Um, it's the same stuff that I use on, that I used on that and on the steering shaft. Um, it seems to hold up pretty good. Uh, that itself gets decently hot, but I'm kind of worried about it around the engine area just because of the oil leaks and stuff like that. I don't know how it's going to hold up. Uh, that never really leaked. We'll wrap it up for tonight and then continue in the morning. So anyway, it's another beautiful day out there. I'm over here kind of just messing with some of the parts. Um, I'm still waiting on brake lines and some fittings. I'm also waiting on the radiator support and I'm waiting on hardware for the suspension. So while I wait for that, I'm gonna try to finish everything that I can in this area before I put the engine on. That's uh, kind of the status update for this video. Um, once I have all of this finished engine transmission in there, I am going to take advantage that I don't have the front clip on and I'm going to go ahead and start wiring the Holly uh, harness. I still have not decided. Whoa, you all right there, buddy? 
I still have not decided where I'm going to put the ECM. Um, I'm thinking it's probably going to go on the passenger side uh, roll cage post. And that way I have easy access to it. And it's, I don't know, it's kind of like a feature for the car, but it's tucked away and out of the way. Um, but it, I don't know. I, I'm still deciding on that. It'll make it... Having it there would make it easier to work on, uh, to add or remove uh, wires, and it would also make it the shortest run to the engine and the dash, unless I figure out a way to mount it inside the dash, which was that was the original plan, but uh, it's looking like it's going to be a tight fit, and I'd rather have it somewhere where I can just have easy access to it, just to uh, not to do a lot of work to get to the connectors. But yeah, so... That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe. Hit the like button.